All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Structure Free Learning. And in this video, you know, we're gonna do something a little different. It's gonna be some math for our engineers out there. And I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on how to solve second order linear ODE. Specifically, we're gonna deal with homogeneous equations with constant coefficients. And an equation like this would some look something like this. Knowing how to solve some basic ordinary differential equations is important because it, that ordinary differential equation is a mathematical way to describe so many physical systems like something that's vibrating or a column that's buckling or a beam that's bending. You know, there's a lot of systems that can be described by a differential equation. To understand how these systems behave, we have to understand, we have to know how to solve for them so we can calculate stresses and then design so that, you know, the structures and things we use don't fail. Typically what happens is that you're given some generic equation with the variables and and let's say this one is, is in terms of y and what we want to know is the solution for this function y. We want to find y as a function of whatever it is. In, in some cases it's time, it could be y as a put function of x, you know, there, it's just a solution. Now in order to come up with a solution for this, you know, one of the popular ways to do it is to go ahead and guess a solution. And then we guess the solution, plug it in to the differential equation here, and then see if it works. We'll see whether or not it actually equals zero, right? And so here, if we substitute, let's see, if we gotta take the first derivative of this with respect to t, so I'll call that y prime, this would just be r, e r t, and then y double prime would be r squared e r t, that would be the second derivative. And now I'm just gonna substitute. And what I have is that every single one of these has an e to the rt in it. And if I, I can divide that through, so I can just cancel those out, boom, boom. And what I'm left with is this a r squared plus b r plus c equal to zero. And here, this is called the characteristic equation. So we're saying that a, b, and c are constants. And if we can go ahead and solve for r, then we'll have a solution. We solve for r and we substitute it back into this y equals e to the rt right over here. Bam! And then we have a solution for that differential equation. And the way we solve for that, it's simple. It's, it's, it's a quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula, r is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And this thing really just, you know, the solution or how we treat the solution depends very much on what's happening inside the square root right here. And there's a bunch of if statements, right? So it's like a, a little like program if you want. You know, it's if b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero. Then we have positive roots. They're real and positive. We have two of them. The solution is just simply y of t is equal to some constant c1 e to the r1 t plus another constant c2 e to the r2 t, where r1 and r2 are these, uh, these roots. If b squared minus 4ac equals zero, then whoa, we only have one root, then r is equal to negative b over 2a. And our solution would look like y of t is equal to c1e to the rt plus c2, some other form, some linear multiple, c 2t times e to the rt. And last but not least, if b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, so it's negative, then we have a complex solution. And here, r1, the roots, r1 would be some, you know, there'd be this alpha plus i beta is a popular way that, you know, t math textbooks will do it. And r2 is alpha minus i beta, where i is the imaginary number, right? And alpha is equal to negative b over 2a, and beta is equal to the square root 
of negative b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Gosh, don't judge me, right? But I don't care how these derivations occurred. All I want to know is how so I can get a solution, so I can look at my engineered system and then and you know figure out how I can change those constants so I can affect my performance in my engineered system. And here for this last part, the solution, it would look something like this. The y t is equal to e to the alpha t times c1 cosine beta t plus c2 sine beta t. All right, so hopefully this is a good refresher on how to solve for ordinary differential equations, especially ones that are homogeneous and they have constant coefficients. All right, so hopefully this is a good refresher. Take it easy, structure free.